so you got the uh, let's think we'll focus in a second here so we got the soul sucker on yeah okay and then we have the other one which we call the soul sucker pearl basically yeah um, and you can see them I mean these snakes are you know they're just awesome basically there's no no other words for that um, and again like I said to you guys before I'm not trying to show anything that's bad but there are negative things that happen and you should know about them and the same exact animals that give you that negative can give you a really great positive. So in this example, the hidden gene, Woma making the pearl, but at the same time, you know, they make these things here. So you can't argue that there's some good, definitely uh, uh, good things to be made with that particular gene. Um, you know, that's one of the main ones that I really wanted to talk about. Uh, here's one we can talk about. Um, spider to spider. The people that are saying that that's lethal, that's not lethal. I don't understand that. It's I've bred spider to spider, spider combinations, spider combinations. They're fine. I mean, sure, you might get some dinging out. And just so everybody get the record straight, the original spider was as dingy as almost any baby, if you want to call that, you know, dingy or whatever, as they are now. Just randomly picking out one. It would do some weird things. It's not about inbreeding. It's not about weak genetic stock, other than the fact that the original animal might have had, you know, its irregularity. But I certainly see with even sometimes like the hidden gene womas, not that they do anything quite like a spider, but you see some little, sometimes their head will do this little kind of thing. Um, and that could even be non-hidden gene woma too. So the motor skill issue might actually tie in to a set of genes which are very close to the pattern and the motor skill type thing. We, we have some weird things going on with genes, like if you look at a hidden gene woma, once I've read it into my genetic granites, it, it, they seem to attach themselves. It's, it's like almost impossible now for me to make hidden gene womas without the granite in there. And it, 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 it seems to um, kind of bond. piggyback with it, basically. Yeah, it's, yeah. Really, it's really weird. And I don't know how to really you know, genetically say that. But we, we don't know how to, like, you know, when we're talking about coral glows and bananas, why? Do, do male coral glows and bananas have a tendency to produce very few male offspring? And I mean, if it's sex length, it should be pretty much cut and dry, but it's not. So, you know, obviously these snakes are, we're, we're being educated. Unfortunately, we're being loosely educated because, you know, we're like, oh, that's interesting, but we're not being scientific about it. I mean, I think when we start throwing the science into this, it's going to not be the kind of thing that drives me at all. Um, <laughs> But spider to spider is not bad. I think sable to sable is, can be problematic. Um, power balls, spot nose to spot nose. Um, like I have a nice one in the other room. He's in the shed and he's perfect. But I've also, you know, known some power balls where I don't know if it's because they're too closely bred and line bred or whatnot, but I've had ones where, you know, I'm not myself personally because I'm not that uh, vested into it yet. Although it's, it's, it's a good project. There's a lot of cool stuff we can do with it. Um, I just know people that have, you know, have ones that, that don't do well. Uh, it's just like, you know, we get caramel albinos and the kinking. If everybody's noticed that there's just a, a, a ton of caramel stuff that's just being unloaded everywhere as people are... Uh, getting out of the caramel stock and maybe replacing with ultramels. And then people are, there could be a rumor saying that ultramels kink. What I understand about ultramels, I don't know or I'm not aware of any kinking and somebody could be throwing a wrench into those gears. So don't necessarily, you know, believe those rumors. I like the ultramels a lot. Um, I think it's it's going to be a great replacement for the caramels if it, if it isn't a, it doesn't kink, but I am not aware of any kinking. Do you have any caramels still here? I have caramels. Okay. And you have ultramels? Yeah. Okay. But it's, yeah, I, I, I you know, definitely like my ultramel stuff. I mean, I, I got really discouraged with my, you know, caramel stuff early on. And it's like, uh, I'm trying to think of any other projects that, uh, that physically don't that have some limitations. And I know there's going to be other things. You know, we could talk about super cinnamons and super black pastels. And the nose pinching, mm -hmm. I really, if you notice, you don't really see any super cinnamons or super black pastels because um, I've known some of those to come out and they have, you know, like 
pinch lips, notches. The, in the duck lip. bill. They have the duck bill. Uh, yeah, uh, and, and phase and two. Even, yeah. If you know they have the, the duck bill and they eat well, that's that's great. I, I really don't have a problem with that. But um, I haven't really gone that far into it for fear of that kind of stuff. But I think there's other people that have really worked that that project out and they're really making some good strong stock. But I definitely say they do have a pinched nose and I don't understand why it's physically different than other ball pythons and I don't think it's just looking at the animal because it's black it, it makes you notice it but I definitely think they have a we pinch it right in front of the eyes and then the, the mouth kind of flanges out um, but that's definitely something that's maybe a little physical uh, difference and uh, I'm trying to think of anything else that would uh, there's, there's got to be some other fails. In there. What other combos are you, do you, are you? So are you trying to think of what else you'd be afraid to actually try yourself? Yeah, I'm. Um, I, I think we have to be careful with uh, champagne meeting up with uh, certain combos. I certainly think color combos are great. Other than the fact that we can talk about champagnes eating other mutations. I mean, I'm just starting. Wait, to don't say it like that because it sounds like the champagnes are cannibalizing. No, the no. I, what I mean literally, <laughs> um, I, I just mean that champagnes overwhelm other mutations and they pretty much take away. We don't get like the the half, half and half, you know, half champagne and half uh, whatever. It Anything. Is. It just yeah, you know, like it kind of overwhelms everything. Like yep. it just like, it's just like obliterates it. But I definitely think I'm I'm, I'm on the right direction. How to throw this different kind of pattern stuff on. I notice like with my female champagnes, I get them to a certain size and then they just play games with me. They don't want to eat or, or whatever. And I, you know, it's maybe it's just it's just with me, but uh, maybe it's a little with other people. Just like what's up, what's the deal with all the tigers in the deserts? Uh, excuse me, I should say deserts. Deserts, okay. The desert entry tiger thing, that desert thing? Yep. Okay. What do you mean what's the deal with them? What's, what's up? Where, why are people getting rid of desert females? Why are we not seeing desert to, to desert? And I'm not... I know, I'm, I know that I, I hear that there is one, but no one's ever actually produced a picture of the darn animal, so I'm, and I'd well, love to I see mean, it, but no Rob, one's ever... Robin, Robin and Chad. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Guys, where is it? Where's the picture? Yeah, I don't, I don't see it. Yeah, that. it's, uh, I mean, they, they would pretty much have, they, you know, they could clarify that. I'm, once again, you know, I'm talking about a project, I don't have a lot of, um, time invested into it in fact i find them to want to bite me and not want to breathe <laughs> you know so it, it's pretty funny so i mean you know they make a lot of cool stuff despite, there's no denying that the desert yeah. makes a lot of amazing animals like i seen that desert uh what's the desert lesser pastel i think it was or something like that that was shown and it's gorgeous animals a lot of really neat stuff with it just that there's a lot of questions too regarding the the gene itself the desert gene itself i mean i, I love those animals i think they can make some awesome stuff and and I'll probably get into that this year, which I know is a little bit too late already, but um, I mean, I like them. But yeah, there are questions that people kind of like to dodge. Like, you know, like you're saying, basically, like, you know, where, where are they? And uh, why, why I, wasn't the picture showing up? When I was producing, so when I produced the first pearl, so we, this is like the closest thing we have to leucistic. I mean, hatch out white. There we go. We just hit the holy grail. And it was the worst doggy downer ever. I remember talking to Ralph, and I'm like, oh, it's just, it's you know, whatever, and he's like, oh, you can baby it. No, you couldn't baby it, it no matter what. And it, it was pretty crushing because here I had this basically white patternless snake and the thing was doofy and it, it was a fail. And, and that is so heartbreaking. And I have plenty of heartbreaking times where, you know, I'm, I'm breeding stuff together and I completely fail so it's not like you know yeah okay so I'm you know well-known breeder and stuff like that but I have messed up so much stuff so um, how long did you take to show that the pearl was you know oh age, ages, basically like ages and it's and it's just basically it's because I was critically embarrassed um, because I couldn't get it to work and that was like such a big deal uh, it, it was, I just think that in those times, Kevin, really, and no, no offense to, to you guys, the guys that started everything, but even you, um, I will include, which right after I say this, I'm probably going to get kicked out of here and never come back, but I think that back in those times, I mean, right now, 
we're in what I like to call a new age of ball python breeding. There's a lot of younger guys, newer guys like myself that are fortunate enough to kind of take it from where you guys have brought it to us. I mean, you guys started from the beginning with the everything single, single, single gene and, and kind of starting the combos and everything and we can kind of take it from there and keep going. But You're just gonna leave, I'm going to be sitting here. I got my single gene thing. I'm, yeah, not, no, I'm no. not sitting here. No, no, no. Going what, I'm right saying, what I'm saying though is, Kevin, that back in those times, you guys were more secretive about things. And I like my generation of, of, of breeders, like myself and a lot of the smaller, newer guys, we're a lot more open about it, I think, because the competition isn't as cutthroat as it used to be, where right now a lot of people, obviously a lot of people breed the animals and we kind of, we have the forums and we have all these things where back then you didn't have that much information going along. It was more like, well, I'll tell this one guy, but the other guys will know and you kind of held all the stuff back and whatever. I can understand that, but this day and age, we're a lot more open about things. Again, one of the reasons for this video and, and, and why the things, I, I like to just bring it up and say, okay, this is a problem. I don't want a guy with 10 snakes in his house to breed two things that I know don't work because right. that's a waste. I want to see what he can do with something that does work that maybe I haven't tried. So I'm just trying to save them from doing that where in, when you guys started out, you didn't care. You were like, no, if the, I screwed up on this, well, let them screw up. Well, I, mean, I wasn't kind of went that okay. way. And I, I, wasn't, I wasn't being secret because I'm like, oh, you guys go breed your womas to each other. Uh, the fact that there wasn't many of them. I was like, they have one. Yeah, that, that, that wasn't it. That was more like a matter of, of pride and stuff like that. And things have changed a lot. I mean, I'm going to go, you know, go back to the time where, you know, I couldn't afford the black headed pythons and all that and stuff like that. And I'm looking at these weird ball pythons. No one else cared. And I was really getting into it. And I was dishing out at the time, you know, to dish out $2,500 was like a big deal, and then it was five grand, then it was 7,500, and then it was, you know, whatever, all these different prices. I remember when Ralph got the first, uh, so the, well, La Lesser Platy or Daddy Platy, and uh, it was like, I think he paid like 44 grand for it, him and Lou. And what huge money, 45 grand, whatever it was, it was such a, just an enormous deal. And when Ralph, produce stuff, he has such an investment in that, you really, I mean, this is be like, okay, we're all trading in stock. Not that I know anything about trading in stock, but we're all trading in stock and we, we realized we found some awesome thing that's like short, you know, day trading, we're, we're getting big rewards. Well, I don't think being a business person, it would be a sound idea, oh my God, I've just been making all sorts of money on this day trading and then I'm going to go post a thing online and tell, hey everybody jump in this and invest in this and it's going to hold its value because it doesn't. It would instantly dump and the, the, the whole little flash in the pan is over. So you know, being a breeder now we're, we're dealing with projects that take two, three, five, eight years, whatever it is to follow through. We have such a huge amount of investment, time, energy, money, salary for employees and all the different stuff like that. You know, we, we have a little of this. I mean, I'm trying to, you're like, I have no interest in, and I don't need to hide any of this lethal combo stuff. I have to keep a little bit of secrecy because I am the evil morph god, and I have to keep it that way. But I still have to have a, a few things. I'm, I'm, I'm not going to take away ever from you being evil morph god and doing all your secrets. I know that you have secrets and you have combos that you do. And even with me having the access that I have, everybody knows obviously I can come over here and open every bin and look at whatever, and it's great. He won't tell me 100% everything that he's doing. I, I respect that. That's fine. I just expect to know and, and put the information out there of things that are detrimental to the hobby. <laughs>